Hello everyone, this is Ross again, um, making another video today. Uh, I just got done finished break, making my uh, raised beds. You can see a video on that and this is the finished product. But this video is on fig trees and the discussion between fig mosaic virus and microscopic mites. Let's just take you through my process here um, of why I even thought of this as a thing in my, in my, um, in my trees. But I would root all my cuttings over here. I had this whole corner filled at one point. And what I would do is I would bring these um, these trees, once they're large enough, I'd put them in these five gallon containers and I'd bring them over to this side of the yard. Um, and the way the sun works in my backyard is that I put all the smaller trees over here and then as they get bigger and bigger and bigger, I slowly bring them over to here. And these are the biggest trees. Um, now, the way you can tell if you have microscopic mites, in my opinion, are these pale, pale spots, pale spots, pale spots, pale spots, another tree, another tree. And when I first rooted them as a cutting, they had nothing, or I got them from somebody, or I bought them off eBay, they really had absolutely nothing. And um, you couldn't see any fig mosaic virus, you couldn't see any mite damage. And that's what I've learned is that those pale spots really are the indicator of whether or not you have mites. It could be fig mosaic virus, it could. Um, I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying there's a good chance that these spots are the mite damage. And these microscopic mites, you can only see them with a microscope. You don't really know if you have them without seeing some indicators. The other indication I've seen is that on this tree right here, there's an air layer on it right now, but it did have three figs in the bottom of this tree, the bottom of this trunk. And the, the figs got really covered in just brown spots. Um, pretty unusual, it didn't look very clean. It looked like something happened to it, like an insect bite, like bit it a million times. Um, to give you a better example of what that is, is that this fig right here, kind of has those spots on it. And this tree definitely, this is a three in one Etna, three different Etnas in the same container, but you can tell that this tree definitely has those pale spots. And I'm telling you that these mites have caused damage here. And it actually, here's another fig right here with, the, with these spots on it. And those mites, if it's severe enough, can actually, it'll drop the figs. It has happened to me. Those three figs on that air layer over there, they all dropped. I, st I did a little research. I saw some things in the forum. You know, there's a lot of discussion about it. I think people are becoming a little bit more aware. Uh, but the good thing is that there is something you can do about it, which is spraying your trees. Um, there's a few different things you can use. You can use Captain Jack's dead bug brew spray. You can use neem oil. I personally have been using Surround. Um, some of the leaves that looked really bad, this tree had it horrible. Um, when I first got it, it had fig mosaic virus. It did. And I think the person that gave it to me actually had mites. And I wasn't too worried about it because I didn't know mites existed. <laughs> but um, FMV isn't a huge thing in our community. You know, if you give the tree enough fertilizer, it does eventually outgrow it. And it, does, it becomes a non-issue. So I wasn't too worried about it. But this tree looks unrecognizable to any of the leaves you see here. I mean, this is like totally almost perfectly clean i mean look at these leaves now new growth's coming in strong what didn't happen was that the current leaves like this leaf right here or this leaf right here didn't actually fix itself with the spray i had to remove the old leaves take out all the growth on the bottom here raise the canopy higher uh you can see that this tree is just totally different now and this is one of many examples. This tree right here, Noir de Barbantane, absolutely no fig mosaic virus on it. And you can see that these spots are already coming in on the new growth. I haven't sprayed this tree in a while. But you can see, like, this is, like, totally it. It doesn't look as deformed. You know, the leaves don't look as... Um, horrible as I've seen some leaves with big mosaic virus, but it does. It has these spots. This is kind of a deformed leaf right here. And the microscopic mites, they actually can spread 
fig mosaic virus. They can spread any disease that your fig trees have over to other fig trees. So I totally recommend trying this, being open to the idea, at least just seeing, get this, get some spray of some kind and give it like, give it like two or three weeks and just see what happens to your new growth. You know, one last example here, this tree right here is Maltese Falcon. And you can see the new growth coming in is just looking horrible. And this tree, when I brought it over here, it had absolutely no fig mosaic virus, absolutely no mite damage at all. This leaf looks pretty good other than the spots, you know? This leaf looks pretty good other than the spots. So you can kind of see what happens that the mites spread from each tree to tree. And since I have them so close together, I would totally recommend either spreading them out if you can, if you have the room, spraying any new tree that you get if you get it from eBay, you get it from a friend, spray it. Use clean pruning shears every time you prune. And then at the beginning of the spring next year, spray your trees with something that's a dormant spray so that any insects, any of the mites that are hiding within these buds will go away. And that's where they hide. They hide on the buds and they hide in the undersides of the leaves for the most part. So if you're spraying, Get the buds, get leaves, cover the entire leaf. Anyway, this was Ross. I want to thank you guys again for watching. I'm trying to make a video just about every day. Um, so if you're interested in this kind of thing, please subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.